why did you get involved in the insurance industry? I got involved in the insurance industry. Um, it wasn't even so much I wanted to do insurance. It was I graduated college and I had no clear direction as to what I wanted to do. Um, I, my first job out of college, I worked for Clear Channel Radio, which is now wow. iHeart Media. And what they told me is, if you could sell air, you could sell anything. <laughs> and I was selling airtime. Yeah. And my aunt, who was very successful and is sort of a mentor to me, um, she would tell me, like, you know, if you're not going to be a lawyer, doctor, you know, traditional money-making mm. career, you got to get into sales. So I'd always had wow. this, like, all right, I got to get into sales type of thing. Fil Filipinos is you got to be in, in healthcare. Really? Yeah. Fil Filipinos. You wow, be a doctor, that's why there's so many Filipinos in the... Yeah. In the wow. Yeah, plus a lot of the colleges recruit from the Philippines based on the Vietnam War. Because all the nur American nurses went, left for Vietnam, which created a drain in American healthcare system. So they went to the Philippines to recruit them in exchange for citizenship. Interesting. Yeah, that's how my, my mom got here. Ah. Yeah, so, but they, I guess, for, so, but, so Jewish heritage, yes. that's, that's the conversation. Doctor, lawyer, get into sales, right? And, and, and you're, whether you're dating, whether it's business, whether it's you're starting a, a new company, yeah. like sales is everything. Uh -huh. yeah. Sales solves everything. Yeah. So it's, you're always constantly selling yourself, you know? And, and what they say is like, people don't buy, pe people don't buy product, they buy people. People yeah. like doing business with people that they like. Yeah. And um, so back to how I got into insurance, I was, I was what I call a jack of all trades, master of none, right? We've yeah. all heard that before. I was doing radio sales, I was doing stand-up comedy, I was doing nightlife, I was doing hospitality, I was trying to be a sports agent, just jack of all trades, doing all these things, yeah. making no money whatsoever. And then I'll never forget the moment, it was like everyone has an aha moment. Mm -hmm. I remember this was 06, and the real estate was really rising, we all know what happened in 08, the Great Recession and all that. But I remember a buddy of mine, I won't say his name, but an absolute buffoon of an idiot <laughs> showed me his commission check for $75,000 doing real estate. I said, what? I said, your dumb ass made 75 grand on one deal? And I was like, that's it, I'm out. I gotta find something what, different. What were you making at that time? Dude, I made, the most I had ever made before I got into insurance was 25 grand in a year. Sheesh. And it's not like I was growing up in the 1920s. This is yeah. in, 2005, right? Right, right? So I was, but money wasn't my focus. I was more just like, I knew that when I applied myself, you know, mm -hmm. if you apply yourself and you have conviction and tenacity mm -hmm. and you figure you know, what I call like stick to itness and just figure shit out, yeah. you'll figure it out. Yeah. But if you're just kind of like, ah, I don't know, going through the motions, which I was doing, you can do that for years and just kind of lose, lose years of your life. Um, but when I saw this dude make this money, it triggered a, if this guy's doing it, I could do something. And I got a job. I had to move out of Miami. I moved up to Boca. You know Boca. Yeah, of course. Uh, an hour north of Miami. I got a job as a cold caller for a startup financial firm. Wow. Just like, and they told me up front, it's going to take you a year, but if you stick it out, you'll start to make some real money. Did you, did you have to get licensed? To, I got to, licensed, okay. I got my life license, yep. my life insurance license, sure. all that, the whatever the, whatever, I forgot Pardon what it's or, called, whatever yeah. it's, like, like the whatever number, two, two, like, it's, it's a whatever license, number yeah. it is, two, I got it, license, I yeah. passed, and uh, it took me a year, my first year, shout out to all the salespeople out there, you know how hard it is, Matt, my first year combined, I made five thousand yeah, dollars in a year. You're not gonna have to park, bro. <laughs> Killing it, right? So people are like, "Oh, you made it a month?" No, in a year. So I was living in a buddy's like couch, and I was paying him whatever peanuts, and I would just whatever. I was just figuring it out, and finally, my second year, it popped. Right after smiling and dialing, I mean, I watch Boiler Room, I watch Wall Street, the best Wolf of Wall. Yes. I'm just learning the That's game. It. You know, Glenn I was Gary, using Glenn Ross, you know, like that all one? that. Yeah. Glenn Gary again, Ross, coffee for closers, hundred percent. Knives. That's right, second place. <laughs> and uh, my second year, I made a hundred grand, and I saw, I was like, oh my god, this is a thing. I can do this. And then that was 2006, 2007, 2008, recession. And we all know what happened in in the insurance space, financial space, a lot of. People lost funding, mm -hmm. and then it was two years of eating shit again, making whatever I was making. Yeah. 
But at that point, you know, my whole mantra yeah. slogan is save that money. Yeah. I saw what was happening in 08 where guys who were making a half a million, yeah. million bucks a year yeah. went down to like losing their job. Mm -hmm. We were getting funding from Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns and Credit Suisse, yeah. like major, major financial institutions. I saw guys losing jobs. I saw guys that were driving, you know, $200,000 yeah. cars, selling their car, now driving just a, yeah. you know, a normal whatever, mm -hmm. you know, BMW, whatever it was. And I was like, okay, got it. Like, just because you make amount of the certain amount of money doesn't mean you need to ball out. Kind of got that. And then, you know, and then I just doubled down on what I was doing. And guys, and more, more sales advice, the guys that would tell me 10, 15 years ago, hey, thanks, but no thanks, not interested, lose my number. Now I'm doing 10, 20 million dollar deals with these guys at Nalba, right? And then I, my income went, you know, two, right. three, five beyond. And, um, but that's the life of a sales guy is that kind of have to eat shit at first. You know this, Matt. Yeah, yeah. And then there's light at the end, at the, end of the tunnel if you're willing to pay the price. <laughs>